What looks impossible is just another workday inside a factory. That factory founder, we show you how it's really done. Once, these machines ruled the sky, crossing oceans, carrying millions of passengers, and connecting continents at 35,000 feet. Engineered to perfection by aerospace giants like Boeing and Airbus. But every aircraft has an expiration date, and when that day comes, they don't vanish. They arrive here, inside a modern aeroplane recycling plant, where flying giants are dismantled, destroyed, and reborn on an industrial scale. The journey begins in vast aircraft graveyards where rows of retired jets stretch toward the horizon, tails towering like monuments, paint faded, rivets rusted, windows clouded with dust, some waiting months, others decades, until each aircraft is selected, documented, and scheduled. Next comes defueling and decontamination at massive scale, as thousands of liters of jet fuel rush through reinforced hoses into sealed tankers. Followed by hydraulic oils and lubricants, while hazardous materials like fire suppression bottles, aging insulation, and specialized chemicals are carefully isolated and logged, because one mistake here can cost lives. Before destruction begins, value is preserved as massive cranes remove turbofan engines often worth more than the aircraft itself. Landing gear engineered to survive brutal impacts is lowered from its bays. And avionics, flight computers, navigation systems, control modules are unplugged piece by piece, components destined for refurbishment and reuse. And only then does structural dismantling begin. Red safety tags appear everywhere, and inside the cockpit, the final shutdown is performed as indicator lights fade and the aircraft's brain goes dark forever. As hydraulic cutters bite into corroded wing roots, sparks explode across weathered aluminum skin, rust flakes rain down, wings that once lifted hundreds of tons are severed, Tails are cut free, and fuselage panels are sliced open to reveal decades of hidden fatigue and corrosion until the aircraft no longer looks like a plane, but a decaying shell. Inside, floor beams are cut, cabin structures sag and collapse. Excavators tear through interior snapping wiring and twisting frames. Entire fuselage sections tip sideways and crash onto concrete with ground-shaking force, and hydraulic presses flatten curved shells until the aircraft ceases to exist. Dismantling a jetliner is not demolition but controlled industrial surgery. Starting with total safety lockout as fuel systems are secured, electrical circuits neutralized, hydraulic pressure released, grounding cables clamp onto bare metal,
remains is fed to colossal shredders as claw cranes drop mangled metal into rotating steel teeth that grab, twist, and tear everything apart. Sparks erupt, rust vaporizes, metal screams, and shredded fragments spill onto conveyors carrying jagged aluminum, heavy steel, broken brackets, and wire toward precision sorting, where magnets rip steel upward against gravity. Eddy current separators fire aluminum sideways using invisible forces. Copper wiring is stripped and recovered. Sensors flash and air jets snap as machines make decisions in milliseconds, transforming a single aircraft into pure material streams. Mountains of sorted metal move to furnaces, where aluminum collapses into glowing molten pools, slag rises and is skimmed away. Entire aircraft liquefy and pour into massive ladles like rivers of fire. Steel follows as rust burns away under extreme heat. Titanium melts slowly in controlled environments, and molten metal flows into molds to form clean, uniform ingots while remaining scrap is compressed into dense bales. Entire aircraft, condensed into solid blocks, stacked, labeled, logged, and prepared for departure.
Global logistics take over as pallets are wrapped, containers sealed, kilometer-long trains haul recycled aircraft metal to ports where cranes load cargo ships bound for the world. And the material begins a new journey into factories where aluminum becomes car panels, steel becomes beams holding cities together, and some metal returns to aviation as new aircraft components, closing the loop of the circular economy. Behind all this controlled chaos, data rules as control rooms monitor energy use, emissions, throughput, and purity in real time, revealing that recycling aluminum uses only a fraction of the energy required to mine new ore, slashing carbon emissions, eliminating landfill waste, and reducing the need for raw extraction, proving this is not just recycling but industrial damage control for the planet.